I'm Dina Cataldi, and my character is Renoa Lockhart. I play a character named Alessandro Giacco, who is a mobster working for the Thorn Mob, at least on the surface. Uh, in episode three, you find out he's working undercover with a government agency, and his real name is Nelson Brooks. She's an agent, special agent, and she's kind of coming to the world because of her partner named Brooks, which she's kind of become his superior. And um, there is history there, a long history, and as she sees that Brooks is starting to kind of lose himself in this deep cover in this world that he's been thrown into, she gets more and more nervous and antsy and obviously concerned, and she cares so much about this person that she will probably do anything to make sure that he's okay. As episode four continues, you see that he's actually kind of a, almost like a chess piece and a much larger framing and that the government agency he works for isn't exactly like upholding, you know, the moral goals of the United States. They're kind of out for something different. And um, he becomes unraveled in this big conflict, which is also painted against the backdrop of what's going on in Gotham City with the drug war and people like Huntress and Catwoman really making their presence felt with the mob and the Riddler. So he plays an important role. I feel that because of uh, the past and her relationship with Brooks, um, I can see her going to places where she may not have ever gone before just to uh, save Brooks. I don't know what that means, but I have a sense that she would do it. And I think it's going to really test her and she's going to change. She's going to, I don't want to say go Sith Lord, but I just have a feeling she's going to be doing some not so good stuff. I got involved with the Nightwing web series uh, through one of the other actors, Joe Cummings. Uh, we had met at an audition and became friends and started speaking about what we've been working on and he mentioned this project and I completely fell in love with the concept and I asked him if I could contact Alex and he gave me his email and I asked, you know, keep me in mind for anything that would come up in the future and, you know, months later I was offered the uh, role as a of Agent Lockhart. A lot of challenges in directing and acting. Um, I've, if you notice in the scenes with Giacco in episode 3, I've tried to write him in a way where he can be away from most of the action so I could like direct the actors and then come back. But even that's challenging because I'm trying to immerse myself in the character as well as watching all the acting. I think in, in certain situations it's very tough because you find yourself being unable to commit to one area. You can't commit fully to directing. You can't commit fully to running the set. You can't commit fully to watching the shots or regulating the sound. You have to completely depend on everybody else for that. And there are times in the past when that's come back to bite me in the ass, and there are times right now where I feel a lot more confident. The scene with Dina Cataldi in episode three, I felt very easy about because I had Bobby there and Fiona, and I could kind of rely on them to do everything. You know, behind the camera, I didn't have to worry too much about it. It was just her and I. But in other scenes where there's more people involved, like the scenes with Query Echo and Rotelli and, and Candace, it can be, it's really hard. Um, but I mean, it's, it's a learned skill. And, I'm not saying I'm great at it. I think I learned a lot on the set of Raptor Hunter 2 with Zach because I saw how he was able to kind of multitask and run the set, direct the actors, and be a great guy because he's a great guy and get everything done. It wasn't easy. Um, it's not easy. The best way for all you folks out there to help with Nightwing Escalation is to support our Indiegogo campaign. Um, like us on Facebook, spread the word. I mean, we're in a day and age that um, people can kind of create their own content and you know make something incredible and we have an ambitious idea We have an amazing cast and we have a lot of heart and dedication and you know that says something So if you can please donate to Indiegogo tell your friends and we would greatly appreciate it <laughs> um, If you want to find out more about me Dina Cataldi um, Google me <laughs> um, You can find me on Facebook. I will have a website up and coming and you can find me on my IMDb Let the cat pay the good.